and passed unanimously of, and is now the international framework that everyone is following. So it is in your best interest to know about it. If you want to do, and, and the other thing I said to Gary Bloom this morning, I said, why aren't you, you know, really penetrating Europe? Uh, he said, no, no, we are. That's, that's where we're headed. Europe is a treasure trove, I think, for your business. But more importantly, I don't need that. More importantly, if you lead with privacy in Europe, you will win. Because there, is, there are no stronger privacy commissioners and data protection authorities than in Europe, especially Germany. Germany is the leading data protection country in the world. And they know privacy by design. They're behind it 100%. In fact, we're doing a project now on the smart grid of paper with the um, data protection commissioner of Berlin, Alexander Dix. Peter Schar is the federal commissioner. So they live and breathe privacy and privacy by design. They, they totally support, they sponsored the um, resolution that I, I presented in Jerusalem. So it's in your best interest to, to get this, brand it, and present it, and, and let it just lead the way for you in Europe and all around the world. And then I'll talk a little bit about PBD in action. What have we done already in the smart grid? This is the one thing you need to know about PBD. This is real, it's on the ground, it's not a conceptual abstraction or some theoretical formulation. That doesn't work for me, life is too short. This thing's gotta work right now, it's practical, you can do it right now. And then we, I'll just talk very little bit about e-meter, which of course you know all about, you are the experts. And I want to, uh, again, show you how I think you can brand uh, privacy by design to your energy offerings, which touch, touch the customer. And then I'll just uh, wrap up. Now let me just pick this up. Okay, so let me just begin as to why we need to change the paradigm. I've been doing this work for, for a long time, over 20 years now, and I have lived through many difficult times uh, but the most difficult from a privacy perspective, and of course for many, many reasons, was 9-11. Post 9-11, in addition to the enormity of the tragedy that took place, uh, privacy took, took a colossal hit. I remember talking to my colleagues days after 9-11 who lived in the United States, and everyone was afraid to speak out in favor of privacy for, you know, it would be considered unpatriotic somehow. Because at that point, it, the model was completely zero sum, and that grew after it. So everybody wanted public safety security, of course. And it was interpreted that in order to have those things, then you could have no privacy. The, the zero, zero sum model is the, the greater the increments on one side, the less the uh, increments can be on the other side. And privacy was always down here. So we, we had to come up with a different way of doing things. The, the existing zero-sum model was going to be the, the death of privacy, which you know in my world doesn't work. And also, I'm gonna to suggest to you, it's not just personal privacy at an individual level in terms of uh, being a human right, but at a societal level, all of you should care about preserving privacy very strongly. Privacy, I usually have a slide that says privacy equals freedom. When you look historically at the basis of our freedoms, privacy is the underpinning of all the freedoms that we take for granted and so greatly enjoy. When you look historically at societies that have morphed from a free and democratic state into a totalitarian state, the first thread to unravel has always been privacy. It is no surprise that Germany is the leading data protection country in the world, that they value privacy perhaps more than others, it is precisely because they had to endure the, the indignities of the Third Reich and the cessation of all their freedoms and liberties. It was taken away from them all at the, on the basis of the loss of privacy. So they take it very, very seriously. Let that be the big picture. We're doing this for a very important reason. L look at, look at the, the, all the unrest in the Middle East, what people are willing to go through in order to try to obtain some freedom. We have it, we need to keep it. In order to do that, you have to have privacy.